Well, with me now is the aviation commentator, Sally Gethin. And Sally, welcome here to the programme. Uh, let's start with the domino effect we've seen over the last two or three hours. What do you make of that? It's extraordinary. Never, ever have I in my aviation career seen uh, a story break so quickly and inevitably. I mean, it's, it's like the perfect storm for Boeing. They, I, I can't imagine what they're going through right now. The backdrop to the airline industry across Europe as a whole is there's excess capacity. In other words, there are too many airlines chasing too many passengers as well. So it's a very strange dynamic. In fact, it's not good at all for airlines that are operating right up out on the edge. They're starting to look like a dinosaur in the age of digital savvy passengers mm. and operations. Other airlines are keeping pace, moving ahead, investing heavily in their digital tech, but BA is beset by problems. There is a demand for further passenger traffic for more routes. People want to travel more and more. We have more low-cost airlines offering affordable air travel. Why do you think there's been no replacement in the supersonic market, as it were? Yeah, it's not for want of effort. Um, there were initial efforts. Sir uh, Richard Branson wanted to revive the old Concorde, but perhaps we needed a grieving period. There's still a possibility to rescue the situation, but the trouble is now the die is cast really in some ways because airlines have been put on notice that this is going to happen and that, uh, as you said, 177 flights to be cancelled. The Gulf area has had a massive dynamic boom in the airline industry over the last 10 to 20 years. Mm. This has been fantastic for passengers, all that choice, um, gold standard passenger experience product on board, like I said. Yeah. Um, but is it sustainable to have two airlines competing so closely on the same target market?